Good morning, Teddy students. I'm Alani. And I'm Bella. And this is Tiger, Tiger News. News. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. And Bella, I hope you had a good weekend as well. Thank you. I had a great weekend. We actually saw a little bit of a glimpse of spring this weekend. But we'll hear more about the weather report with Caroline. And here's the weather and some exciting events for this week. First up with the weather. It's finally starting to get a bit warmer, but it'll be rainy this week. There will be a high of 56 this week and a low of 32. And there's a 70% chance of rain on Thursday, 60% chance on Wednesday, and an 80% chance on Thursday. It's going, to be, it's going to be mainly cloudy and windy this week with chances of rain, so remember to bring your rain jackets. And as this week goes on, the sun will start setting even later every day at around 5.40 p.m. So this means that the total daylight is increasing to just over 11 hours. Spring is on the way. And we also switched the clocks forward this weekend, so we all lose an hour of sleep, unfortunately. But the days will be longer, and spring is on the way. Have a rainy week, Caroline. Hey, what is up, Teddy Tigers? It's a girl, I am back again with another Tiger News video. Before I begin, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video. Now, let's move on. On Saturday, there was a crazy game between Real Madrid and Valencia. So if I was you, I'd buckle up. Basically, Valencia and Real Madrid were tied up 2-2, and the ref blew his whistle while the ball was still midair. Normally, these things don't happen in soccer. The ref would normally wait until the play was over to blow his whistle to end the game. But specifically on this play, Jude Bellingham scored the game-winning goal, which would have made the score three to two, giving Real Madrid the win. But because the ref is so hard-headed, he ended up giving the he ended up giving him a red card, and the goal didn't count. Anywho, last week the Methuen girls basketball varsity team made it to the state playoffs and won the first round, but unfortunately lost the second round. So a huge shout out to the seniors who are graduating this year, and special shout out to my favorite old Spanish teacher and favorite assistant coach, Coach Miss Michaela. I love you, dude. Anywho, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And this is I signing off. Coaching. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Alyssa Matado, back again with school news. This week at the Tenny, we have a few school activities. Starting off with the Energy Squad Assembly for grades 3rd to 5th, today from 12.30 to 1.45. Also today, there's the Choral Jamboree Rehearsal for grades 5th and 6th from 8.30 to 11.15. Tomorrow is the 7th and 8th grade Choral Jamboree Rehearsal, also from 8.30-11.15. By the way, Tenny elections are tomorrow and will be held in the cafeteria. On Wednesday is the glow run. Make sure to wear appropriate clothes and running shoes. Also, this Wednesday there's a student council meeting from 2.45 to 3.30. Next, this Thursday there's a yearbook meeting from 3 to 4. Also, make sure to turn in all your missing work. Trimester 2 ends this Friday. Also, our school is seeking girls in grades 3 to 5 who would like to be a part of Girls on the Run program. The program runs after school and begins March 31st through June 1st. It will be on Mondays and Wednesdays and from 3.15 to 4.45. Lastly, the 17th annual Boston Bruins PJ Drive is still going on. The Nevins Library's <coughs> Children's Room is asking for our help. They're asking for us to donate new pages for local children living in low-income and homeless situations. Their goal is to collect 200 PJ, pairs of PJs, so let's make it happen. The PJ Drive will run until March 15th, so come on, let's help our brother from another mother out. That's all the upcoming news, honey students. I'll see you again next week with another bu 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 banger obviously. Alyssa Machado, signing off. Capiche! Are, are you struggling in math? Well, fear not, because Ms. Gravel and Ms. Saltzman are tutoring 4th and 8th graders. So, if you're having any trouble with math or you even need some advice from these teachers, please go out your way to email these teachers for any help. Hey, remember? Oh, hey, remember Girls on the Run? I loved Girls on the Run. I remember, I so remember it was fun. like it was yesterday. It was so fun. Which reminds me, Miss Hudon is recruiting third to fifth graders to sign up for Girls on the Run. So be sure you make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. And also, they're looking to build positive relationships, self-esteem, and fitness and health. So you guys better sign up. I promise you, it's it's, it's so worth it. It's so much fun. Like, bye. Go. This Wednesday is the Glow Run for the Booster X. Fundraiser. So, who's excited? I am. <laughs> I am too. Hopefully, your parents and your supporters can also come and. And can't wait to see you there. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. And we want to give a special shout out to Miss Weaver's class because we know they always watch our videos. And by the way, we have something very special coming up for the lower school, so stay on the lookout on our channel for that.
unzoomed in. Are you struggling? No, it just like. No, I'm saying, are you oh. struggling right now? Oh no, your battery's gonna die. Ready? No, this is the last one. Recruiting three to fifth, three, third, oh my god, what is going on with me today? You are.